Follow breaking news this hour. The nationwide manhunt for serial kidnapper and rapist James Horn Jr. has finally come to an end. About 11:15 this morning, there was a shootout between Horn and police, and police shot and killed Horn this morning. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall has been following the search from the very beginning, and she joins us live now from the Kern Memorial Conservation Area. That is near Green Ridge, Missouri. That is where they found Horn today. Good evening to you, Amy. This is where they found James Horn Jr. earlier this morning, and the home is boarded up. It's been vacant for years. It's owned by the Missouri Conservation Group, and they tell me that when they came inside, they found Horn in a closet. He was armed, showed his weapon, threatened officers, and refused to surrender, which is why the situation ended the way it did. The search for Horn, as you mentioned, was nationwide. It went on for more than three weeks. People around the area that I've spoken to are breathing a true sigh of relief. An autopsy is set to be performed sometime early this week, and they are talking about several agencies that all came together to really make this happen. The FBI helped them with some information as well as the U.S. US Marshals, and they also tell me that they've notified one of Horn's previous victims who lived in Mississippi as well. So a lot of people are going to sleep a little bit easier tonight, knowing that this man who was armed and dangerous and on the loose and terrorizing this entire community is no longer a threat. We're reporting live this afternoon and evening. Dia Wall, 41 Action News. You have been up since early this morning. Dia Wall, thanks so much. Right now, retired FBI agent Michael Tabin joins us now in the newsroom. And Michael, we've talked before. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we Thank talked you. to you about this case earlier this week, and you predicted that all of this would end this way and a shootout with police. Yes, he fit the profile of somebody who just thrived on control, thrived on domination, and now he knew that he had met the end of his road. He couldn't handle the fact that he now was going to be under the control of law enforcement, and he didn't have the nerve to take his own life, so he forced the police to do it for him. Well, he was a fugitive, kind of a flight or fight uh, syndrome, right? That's right. He was in a flight or fight uh, state of mind, and again, he just didn't have the nerve to take his own life, and this happens often. He fit that profile, and he forced the police to do it for him. He fit a criminal profile. What was that that gave you all these indications? The nature of his crime, complete domination and control of his victims. And when he didn't have that, you know, his life started to fall apart. And when he saw he wouldn't be able to continue, and the tables would be turned on him, where he now would be under the control of somebody else. Retired FBI agent Michael Tabman, thanks so much. Thank you.